In which world do we choose to live, the real one, or the one of dreams? Which of these two worlds offers us protection from the other? We all aspire to immerse ourselves in pleasant dreams when reality becomes cruel. In those moments when the routine overwhelms us and strips us of what we value most, it is instinctive to seek comfort in a world of fantasy, a safe sanctuary. However, taking refuge in dreams is not the same as living. And if we cling to them too much, we run the risk of being consumed completely. I don't want to wake up, you can't convince me to wake up because I would have a rude awakening. The light of science had been my guiding star since my first contacts with books. It had also sustained me in my uncertainty, but it gave way to another faculty, something that perhaps I should call magic. It remained deep within me, a persistent hope, a childhood longing to believe in the inconceivable, beyond any mathematical truth. I wanted to believe in magic, that fascinating feats could be achieved without explanation. For example, an illusion is suspended over the waters of a river, or walking through walls in front of an audience, both acts impossible to conceive. People often think of it as a matter of faith, but for me it was much more. It was the expansion of my mind towards the indefinite that I had longed for all the time. To those unreal landscapes that resided in my mind where I was a hero and dreams were enchantingly wonderful. Where enigmatic creatures breathed and knights fought with magical swords. However, this world, the real one, is cruel, it always hits you in an unimaginable way. In moments of crisis, when thought stops thinking, magic takes over and demands its due. When you're a child, you believe anything is possible. Secretly I fervently wished it were true, that there is an escape to safety when the world has become dark and sinister. A refuge where I can feel protected when tragedy knocks on my door.